This is a podcast for the Oxford University Clinical Research Unit in Vietnam, part of the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Hi Guy, why is there an Oxford University Clinical Research Unit in Vietnam? Vietnam is a very extraordinary country. It's very long and thin, it's about 1,200 miles from top to bottom, but within it is nearly 90 million people. And it's a country that is changing very fast, but has nearly all of the really major important healthcare issues uh, of, of the day at the moment, in particular as it relates to infectious diseases, which is the focus of the unit. So, in short, the reason why we have, one, have, a, have a unit there is because it provides incredible opportunities to understand infectious diseases in that part of the world. And the problems that infectious diseases present in that part of the world are really relevant to the, re to, to the entire world. So we can do really quite unique things there answering questions that are of local importance, which is absolutely critical, but also that have global relevance. So that's why we have a unit there. We've made a lot of scientific achievements reflected in big publications that make a, make a big impact. And I, and I could go and list those, but I think probably the, most the two most important achievements are, are broader than that. I think firstly, it's creating a unit, a research unit in Vietnam that trains local scientists. So to date we've had at least or more than 40 uh, PhD students, Vietnamese PhD students, pass successfully through the unit and get awarded their PhD. And that is an incredible achievement really because this is a country that although it has a very well developed healthcare system and a university system, it doesn't have a very well developed research based system. And one of the really important things that we do is to build scientific capacity in the country. And I think the second one is just building up a, an infrastructure in the country that allows us to do really good clinical science. Now, in large part, that's doing clinical trials, but it's also doing the laboratory-based science that comes uh, with, with the clinical trials to, to, to help us understand the diseases that we study. And I, and I think having that infrastructure, generating that infrastructure over the last 25 years is an enormous achievement because it's not easy it's not easy to do in a country like this, but over there it, it's harder and therefore I think that's one of our, our greatest achievements. In 1991, um, it was Professor Nick White from Oxford who went across to, uh, to go and study malaria there. At that stage, Vietnam had a real problem with uh, falciparum malaria, the severe form of malaria, and they had very many patients. But they also had this new drug that was coming out of China uh, called artesunate. And Vietnam was one of the few places that China would allow the drug to be tested in the conventional trials that, were, uh, that, that, that China wasn't doing but was prepared to, for Vietnam to do, so randomised controlled trials. So the first bit of work in 1991 was based around looking to see whether this new drug was good for the treatment of severe malaria. And ultimately it's been shown to be an excellent treatment for malaria and is now the the, the, the sort of global best treatment and is now uh, adopted in most countries as being the, the, the best treatment. So that was where the start of the unit was in 1991. And then slowly it, it grew from there. Vietnam's changed, it's become more wealthy, certain diseases have disappeared. Malaria, for example, is much less common than it was. Typhoid was, a, was a, an infection that was worked upon a lot at the beginning in, in the early 90s, but has got much less uh, important to Vietnam now. Our main areas of, of research reflect the, the diseases of importance in the country. So it remains malaria, um, it, uh, the, other, the other infections that are important are dengue, tuberculosis, um, we have a number of people working on emerging infections, particularly something called hand, foot and mouth disease. Uh, we are also interested in animal infections, so zoonotic infections, the infections that pass between animals and humans. And um, we do a lot of work on, on brain infections and infections relating to, to HIV. Okra has to change because it has to remain relevant to the, the healthcare and the healthcare challenges of both the country and the region. Now, Southeast Asia is changing very fast at the moment. Uh, economically, many of the countries are, are growing. Uh, wealth is being created very quickly. And this is meaning that some of the traditional infectious diseases, thankfully, are disappearing or becoming much less important. We have to respond to those changes and over the next decade I think the big changes are going to be around 
the non-infectious diseases rather than the infectious diseases. So diseases like obesity and hypertension and stroke. These are going to become some of the really important issues in Vietnam. And I think what we have to do is remain relevant to the healthcare in Vietnam and study the interaction between infections and those non-infectious diseases.